Hey folks, welcome to the channel. I'm Don. This is Rock in the Country. Hope things are going well in your neck of the woods, in your world. I'm doing a gift request. Tyler Childers, In Your Love. Don't think I know this song. I know Tyler, of course. Everybody who follows country music uh, knows him. And uh, L Park 13, a.k.a. Luke, made a gift to the channel. So Luke, thank you for this gift and request. And let's see. You provided links. And one of the links didn't work. Uh, it said that the video was no longer available or something. And a couple of them were like Vivo links. So I chose a live version uh, from the Opry. And I rarely have an issue using material from uh, the Opry. So let's see. And it's usually good quality, too, when it comes from there. So let's see what we've got. In Your Love, live at the Grand Ole Opry. Yeah, I don't see Tyler yet. I will wait for you till the sun turns into ashes and bows down to the moon. I'll wait for you. Mm. It's a long, hard war, oh, but I can grin and bear it because I know what the hell I'm fighting. For and I'll wait for you. Mm. We were never made to run forever. We were just meant to go long enough to find what we were chasing after. I believe I found it here in your love. I love that. I know this feeling. I will stand my ground. Cause it's cold out there And you know some men search for ages For the love that I have found So I will stand my ground We were never made to run forever We were just meant to go long enough To find what we were chasing after I believe I found it here in your life Got a quick question. When people are asked to play at the Opry, you folks who have been there have never been to a show at the Opry. When they play, is it like an evening set, like a two-hour regular concert? Or because it's such a prized place to perform, is it the type of thing where you might play five songs and then another artist would come on and do five songs? like? You have different artists for the evening? I don't know why the thought popped into my head. It just did for this. Honey, I will wait for you. Honey, I will stand my ground. I will work for you till my hands are tired and bleeding. I know what it is from us I'm needing. I will work for you like a team of mules. What do they clap? Good to see him smiling. Honey, I will wait. Honey, I will stand my ground. I will work for you. I will stand my ground. Well, 
I wonder what went on in the audience because all of a sudden there was this clapping and cheering at a moment in the song that I didn't even think didn't warrant it. It wasn't like this overly exciting part in the song. It wasn't like Dolly Parton walked out on stage and Tyler tried to sort of control it and he did. He had just like a little smile on his face and then but then as the song progressed, he started smiling more and more and more. Uh, maybe it was just cheers and uproars for him and a particular lyric that has some kind of sub subculture history or meaning or something. But in any case, that was good to see. And Tyler just clean cut there. Um, I know he gotten clean. I don't know. I know that he, I don't know if it's substance abuse or alcohol or what have you, but I remember seeing something a while ago, but I mean, he's just got a voice that is different. And even here when he's singing more ballad, you know, like, uh, more of a ballad type gentle feel to the song. And I love the lyrics to this song because I understand these lyrics. And by experience, it's one thing to understand conceptually or, you know, people who are like this or, oh, I hope that happens to me, whatever the it is. In this case, it's a certain type of love. And like you just know that when you find it, it's just the sweetest absolute thing. It just seems to infect every soul uh, cell in your body. And the instrumentation was really nice, as you would expect at the Opry, they're not going to, nobody gets to perform there who's a schlock, you know, and they're going to rehearse and they're going to want to get it right. I don't know if this was Tyler's debut at the Opry. I doubt it. I'm sure he's played there before. Uh, assuming this is a more recent one. He's so clean cut here. It's just good to see. And he seems to just be enjoying himself. And uh, he looked good. So Luke, that was a good one as well. I mean, yeah, you would give me other, I hope that's acceptable. I mean, I loved it. You know, that doesn't mean that's the one that you had intended or wanted, but the lyrics, the instrumentation, the Opry, um, it's just, it was just good to see. He's a very patient, comfortable performer too. Other things I'd seen him in, he was in maybe just with his own guitar playing somewhere in a room by himself or, or, um, it wasn't a follow, follow me to Virgie. Uh, he was outside on a bench. That was about four years ago. He did that. And, but this is the first time I think I've seen him in like a quote unquote legit regular setting. Well, Opry's not regular as we know, but I think you get the picture. So the number that popped into my head on this was a 9.1. I love the lyrics. I love the, I, I don't know if these are the musicians in his band or if like the Opry, you know, has people in. You know, each venue has its own way of doing things, but this was just beautiful. And I mean, the steel was as crisp as it got. Uh, the pianist and the guitar just nice and slow and just purposeful. And Tyler didn't overshadow, didn't even try to steal it. He just stayed in the pocket. And that's just that's just performance quality artistry. So. L Park 13, a.k.a. Luke. Thank you for this, my friend. That was wonderful. All right, guys. Have a great day. I hope you're all in love or have that on the way. See you on another video. Keep rocking the country. Yeah.